early. We need an early breakfast today. Hey guys, day two post off. I'm just post op, sorry. Not my parents' house because Josh is working today. Um, I'm currently corralled in so that my dog Callie doesn't jump up on me. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's been a lot harder than I thought this time around. This is their dog Nikki. He won't hurt me. Um, had a lot more pain than I expected. I haven't been able to sleep very well. Um. The pain meds don't seem to be working as well as they did the last time I had a surgery on my knee. Could just be because it's the second time in as well, but yeah. My life right now is just sitting here with this giant cryo cruft that's hooked up to the machine over there. And a straight leg brace so I cannot bend my knee while we wait for... Um, the new graft to take hold and heal a little bit. Um, I go back and see the surgeon in just under two weeks time and then he'll tell me whether I can take the brace off and start to wait there or not but for right now I'm just on my crutches on the couch. I go from the couch to the bed, <laughs> from the bed to the couch and yeah watching TV. I'm gonna look at some horse footage soon, I think, but yeah, today's the first day that the pain is actually like bearable, I guess. Um, it's been pretty bad the last couple days, but the drive home was absolutely awful. It was an hour and a half from the hospital and it was probably the worst pain of my life and took my breath away, <laughs> literally. Um, yeah, definitely don't want to do that again. Um, so, yeah, today I have not had as much pain, I don't think, so that's good. Um, fingers crossed it keeps going on the up, and maybe I'll actually get a good sleep tonight, because last night I did not get a good sleep. <laughs> Anyways, so, day two, post-op. Check back in when there's something more exciting to report. Just to note, I have to be at my parents, because they have to look after Callie our dog and I actually like can't lift my leg right now by myself all the time because it hurts too much. I'm not sure what that's about. That's a new thing. It wasn't like that last time so I guess we'll see. Hopefully I can lift it <laughs> by myself soon. Yeah. Fun times. My setup for the day. Getting caught up on some YouTube videos. And there's my puppy watching over me. Oh, she heard something else. I got a bunch of photos back from the photo shoot we did on Sunday today. I will throw a couple in here. I've been going over them all morning and I love them. I'm so excited. Day three? Four. I don't know. Day three after the surgery? I don't know anymore. The days are all running together. Pain is getting a little bit better. Um, still can't sleep very well at night, but hoping to make a little journey up to the ponies today if I can. It's a nice, beautiful day outside. Paris, you're my heaven, yeah, we safe in Troy. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da.
So, you know, just getting ready for my first shower since surgery. It's supposed to be a sponge bath, but we have a handheld one. So I figure if I like baked potato wrapped my leg, we should be good to go. Look how tight that is. Gross. <laughs> Rehab life. Kelly. Kelly. Hey. <laughs> Have you, yeah, take a picture of all of them. have you been my little shadow? Here. Hey guys, here we are day, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Day six, I've got my supplements there. I had to do more supplements up for the horses on the couch last night, so that was fun. Um... The pain is just starting to get better. I think I need to get new um, painkillers prescribed today because I went through the whole bottle in less than a week. But yeah, definitely a lot more pain this time. But I am starting to feel a little bit like it's getting a bit better. My ponies are outside the window. Um, yeah, not really a whole bunch to report. I was able to go and see them one night. I felt well enough to do that. Um, I am going to see my physio today just to get my quad needle, not do anything um, movement-wise or mobility-wise until I see my surgeon again next Tuesday, so a week today, I guess. Um, yeah. Nothing else to really report. Still just sitting here on the couch. With my leg. Hello, my sweet girl. Hi. Hi. And good girl. Cookies. Day seven? A week ago today, I had my surgery. No more. Second time I've felt well enough to come out and see the ponies. They always make me feel better. <laughs> no more. Yeah. You're a good girl. No more. Those are for your sister. For your sister. Here's my other girl. <laughs> are you good? Are you good? Always so grumpy. I love you. I love you. I even managed to a flake of hay to split. I crutched from one hand. Well, no, I crutched with both hands, but I like held the flake here in my fingers and it stayed together really well. <laughs> Little victories, but first time I've been able to do anything for them. But now my knee hurts, so I think I'm gonna go back inside. Hi, Nancy. All right, here we are, one week since knee surgery, seven days. So, yeah, I hobbled out to see the horses again today. Um, sleeping's starting to get a little bit better. Last night was bad, but two nights before that were good. Going over all of my horse footage currently. Well, that's not it there, but... Anyways, I am starting to compile it into videos um, to get updated on my YouTube. So if you haven't watched them, you should go do that because I spent a lot of time on this couch while I was rehabbing. So if you're into horses at all, I have a whole bunch that you could watch. Um, but yeah, I had my leg IMS yesterday for my physio, so intramuscular stimulation. Um, my quad and my hip flexor have been super sore, so I wanted to get that ims and I think it helped. Everything's still really sore. Now my glutes are really sore too, but that's okay. Um, IMS is always a good idea if you have really tight muscles, so... My hip flexor has been screaming at me and it has actually been quite a bit better today for sure than it was before. So it definitely helped. Um, yeah, so that's one of the things that you can use. Talk to your physio about it first. If you are struggling after surgery with tight muscles that aren't used to either carrying around a brace or lifting your leg or anything like that. 
Um, go back and see the surgeon next Tuesday, so six days from now. Don't really think there will be much to do <laughs> before then, so probably talk to you closer to then. Why are you all stuck in here on such a nice day? Go to the field. I need cookies. Here. Find some cookies? Hey! Look at your mommy's bringing the cookies for you. Uh, drop the crutch. I want to get saved some. Come here, say tight. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Love you guys. Okay, let's go to the field now, okay? I'll take a couple. Should I take one for you? Are you helping me? Have you been my little shadow? Did my whole knee surgery? Yes. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. All right. So, what's the date? October 4th. Um, it's Monday. So, Wednesday will be two weeks since surgery. Um, and I finally figured out how to do some abs and core exercises. So, I would say make sure that you are able to get on and off the floor before you start because <laughs> that is key um but then i just put my, i just put my feet up on a pillow or my knees up on a pillow um just to help keep my back in a neutral position and then you just do i'm just doing crunches basically um so i'm doing uh straight forward crunches oblique crunches and each side um times three. I, last time around during surgery, I did one-legged planks. Um, that's a better angle. Sorry, guys. So last time around for surgery, I did one-legged planks, but with the big knee brace on this time, I didn't have it last time around. I don't think that that would be doable quite yet because um, I have to rest my bad knee on top of my good foot when I do them, but when I am able to do them, maybe after I see the surgeon tomorrow, I can update you guys then. Um, but yeah, for now, just happy that I'm able to do a little bit of core exercise. It's helpful, especially because I was starting to get a little bit depressed over the weekend. It was the last event um, of the season that Bubbly and I were supposed to be competing in and softball and everything else. Um, but feeling better after watching some softball yesterday and yeah now being able to do some exercises again is making me feel a little bit better pain has gotten quite a bit better too in the last couple of days I slept quite well last night um and I'm starting to ease up on the painkillers only taking one during the day or even just Tylenol and then two when I go to bed at night but just one the rest of the time and yeah so on my way to hopefully getting better and Hopefully the surgeon tomorrow will say I'm allowed to start weight bearing and physio and all that stuff. Well guys, it has been a hot minute since I have talked to you. Um, 
So yesterday was October 6th. It was Wednesday. It was my first physio appointment, which I didn't really do very much in because Tuesday, the 5th, yeah, I saw my surgeon for my follow-up two-week appointment and turns out he actually did a lot more to my knee than we even knew about or then showed up on the MRI. So he did go in and reconstruct my ACL from a donor graft and cleaned up my medial meniscus. But he actually found when he was in there that my lateral meniscus on the outside had become detached. So the root detached, which is quite rare, um, he says. He says he does quite a few now, but they didn't even used to have a surgery to fix that about 10 years ago. Um, so we had to fix that. And that is actually... Uh, quite a complicated procedure. I guess he had to go in from the front and the back of my knee um, and <laughs> anchor it to the front of my kneecap in the back and reattach the root um, and attempt to make it stay there. So because of that, I'm not weight bearing and I'm in the straight leg brace still for another four weeks, which I didn't expect. So that was unexpected. I was hoping that I was going to be able to start weight bearing. Um, yesterday at physio but instead we just did some quad contractions and some patellar movement and they massaged like my quad and my calf which I didn't even realize how tight they were and how tight the skin around the incisions and stuff was so uh, maybe I'll show you some video of that of just kind of what exercises I am doing now for week three of my rehab. So this is my knee. I did also tell you guys at one point that I would show you my cryo cuff which is the thing that I talked about in my first video. Um, so this is it. So it's got this thing. Um, I did also tell you guys that I would show you my cryo cuff in the first video. Apparently I spilled coffee on it. Um, but this is it. So it's like a cooler, basically. And top folds down. Oh, it has to fold this way. I don't normally do it, as you can tell. And inside you just have, we have ice bottles and ice and water. So basically it goes from there, follows along this tube and this comes to my knee. And I normally put um, a cloth underneath it. So the tube here has two hoses. One of them brings water to my knee, flushes it through, and one of it takes it away. So over time, the heat of my knee and the swelling and inflammation and stuff will make the ice uh, in the cooler go away, and you do have to refill it. But it was super vital for the first, I don't even know um, how many weeks. Probably like, well, it's still vital for nighttime for me because I have a hard time sleeping. I'm sorry about the grossness of my brace. You don't get a new one. And I bled through my bandages the first time. So please don't mind that. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. So this fills with water and it inflates with water and it just keeps ice cold water on your knee for basically 24 hours a day if you would like. So here is my knee. So for exercises, there I'm basically supposed to be massaging my quad. Um, and my calf, but it's harder for me to massage my calf because I do have to keep my legs straight. Um, and then as I massage, like the skin right here is quite tight on my knee um, just from the swelling. So I'm supposed to kind of milk that and just loosen up the skin and the tissue underneath to hopefully um, mobilize the scars and help prevent scar tissue. Oh, Callie. Hi, Callie. Are you going to help me? <laughs> you helping me with the exercises? Good girl. Um, yeah, don't mind my... I'm at my parents' house right now and don't mind their floor. They're in the middle of getting a new one, so there is no, no tile on it. Um, but yeah, so my IT band right here is super tight. I have had IT band issues before. Um, my quad I actually pulled before my surgery, so it's really tight. So basically, I'm just supposed to massage... All of that and that's once a and once the skin around my knee gets looser and you know not so tense to the touch it's supposed to play around with moving my patella so up down side to side 
um, just so it doesn't get kind of stuck or locked. So it's called patellar mobility and I just want to make sure that it is still moving and tracking up and down. Um, I need to massage it a little bit more before I get too much movement. There we go. There's a bit better side to side. Then the one of the exercises I get to do is just quad contraction. So it's actually hard. I have a pillow underneath my leg right now. It's hard for me to actually straighten my leg. So I have to just use my quad here and contract it and try to press the back of my knee down into the ground and then let go. So contract, hold, let go. Contract, hold, and let go. And it does feel like very tight on both sides here when I do that, um, just because my knee is kind of stuck in a bit of a bent position. But as I do it more, it um, will get easier and it does get less painful. This is one of my incisions. Um, this bandage was really stuck on me and I have showered, but I was not able to get that off. I scrubbed my surgeon's initials here really hard, but I couldn't get them off either. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how my leg looks. I just have the incision there. I have three here and then this one here. And then I actually have one at the back because he had to go through the back to fix my lateral meniscus. Um, he kind of had to put almost two buttons, he called them, so it hold, holds my meniscus in place, which is also why I can't wait there for four weeks. So that's kind of it for right now. For the next two to four weeks, I just get to do massaging, patellar mobility, and quad contractions to try to see if I can get straight leg. Oh, and since the beginning, I've been able to do um, gas pedal pumps for my calf, so I do those often. Oh, Kelly, you good girl? Good girl. Good girls. <laughs> Good girl. You smelling my knee? You smelling my knee? Oh, you're so sweet. I've got my golden girl. You get to come see me now. It's bubbly eating her hay. I've missed you. I missed you, my love. Good girl. Hello. Did you come see me? Hi. Gonna fix my knee for me. Thank you. So that Sunday, Callie actually hurt herself. I think she jumped off a couch or something and really hurt her front left leg and wasn't putting any weight on it. So we had to take her up to the emergency vet. That was a big day. I don't know if she felt like she needed to get her to be her with me, but I would have preferred if she didn't. But we recovered a little bit and she is okay now. Are you growing your winter coat yet? Don't need to get sick again this year. <laughs> Are you excited for a snack? Are you guys excited for a snack? Lucky. Back bubbles, back. There's Sates, Sates. Come on, Sates. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Getting bot flies off for me. <laughs> we did bubbly together, but I can't help with Sade because it's a bit muddy on the way to her in the pen. Hey! What are you doing? All right, I'm going to end that one here, guys. I think it's long enough as it is. So that was week um, pretty much zero, so the day of my surgery to week three. 
hopefully as the weeks go on and I am able to do more, they will get more exciting. I see my surgeon again at week six, so that's the start of November. And then hopefully I'll be cleared to do some more physio exercises and weight bear and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us on our journey and me on my rehab journey. I really appreciate it. As always, if you are liking my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye.